You know Quartermain Taber just replaced Falk as chief resident? Good for her, so what? So convince her you're sorry about shooting your mouth off tonight. You, you, you've been through a lot. Tell Frank, her you were worried about Karen. Frank, so stop trying to fix everything. Whatever happens, happens. I don't want to talk about this anymore. We're not through, Joseph, not by a long shot. I care if you don't. Yeah, well, what I care about, Frank, is doing this thing my way. Go to bed. No, I'm all I'm fine. I love you. I, I, I gotta go, okay? All right, I love you too. Bye bye. When do kids become parents to their parents? I guess when the kids have no choice. How's your mom? She's sober. I didn't mean it that way. I know, but it's uh, the polite way people ask, you know, is she all right? I'm used to it. I'm sorry. She'll probably go through five pots of coffee before she gets to a meeting. Thank God for the meetings. I'm glad she's all right. When you knew me as a kid, I was spending all my time trying to convince people that she wasn't a lush. But they knew, didn't they? Small town. I knew your dad was a drinker. When you have an alcoholic for a mother, it's not hard to recognize the signs in other people. That's so funny. A lot of people came to his funeral. But not one of them tried stopping him from getting behind the wheel. I didn't even know he died and until Cooper read your personnel file to everyone. And... He had it all there, didn't he? Every messed up little detail in my life. I guess I'm not the only one that feels exposed from tonight. After tonight, this entire place is one giant raw nerve. No one's ever going to be the same. This happened to you because of the Dorman case, didn't it? I arrested Dorman without evidence, pure and simple. Rules are rules. But I'll tell you, if I had to do it again, I would do it exactly the same way. Fortunately for Serena, I'm going freelance. I will do everything to find her. Thank you so much. Listen, I know you can't understand the things that Scott has done, but you have to find her because she really is just like a child of my own. You need to get some rest and take care of yourself. I know, I know, I will. Listen, listen, do you have uh, Scotty's number in Canada? I just might go up there and dig around. I do, um, I'll get it. Okay. Flying to Canada? Yeah, well, there's an old saying. If you want to find a live body, you piece it together one bone at a time. Getting can seems to agree with you. I'm starting to agree with you, Kevin. I've got it. It's right here. Listen, Mac, will you do me a favor and lock up? Lucy and I need to go somewhere. Where are we going? You really need to see Scott, don't you? I guess I'm not the only one who's psychic. Well, let's just say I feel more connected to you. <sighs> see you later, Mac. Mac? Joe Scanlon, MD, Kevin, Dr. Kevin Collins. Hi. Scanlon, you have a brother named Frank? Yeah. I met him last night. He's a good man. I I'm sorry, I you didn't mention what your connection to Scott was. I'm his daughter. His daughter? Well, I guess Lee was referring to you when he called. We thought he meant Serena. Serena, I know. He was rushing out to try to find her when he got hit. How did you know that Lee called Scott? Well, when we got out of the hospital ourselves, we spent most of the night convincing the authorities and Scott that my friend and I weren't responsible for Serena's disappearance. Your friend? You mean Lucy? Right. So they still don't know where Serena is? A lot of concerned people are following some leads, but so far nothing's solid. That poor kid. She must be scared out of her mind. Who's going to help her now? Scott, I uh, bet you're in a lot of pain. If you weren't, I certainly would like to inflict some on you. What were you thinking? What were you thinking, having me arrested on kidnapping charges? You know, I remember so well the look on your face the night Serena came into the world and you held her in your arms and saw that little girl for the first time. Listen, we delivered her together, you and me, all alone, just us. We brought her into this world, so why would you ever think that I would take her away from you or do anything to hurt her, I wouldn't. Listen, we're gonna get her back. 
Mac, Kevin and I, we'll find her. And what you have to do is you have to just get better and get out of here. And then we'll all put this behind us and be the very, very best of pals. Okay? Deal. All right, man, work it. Go slow. Hello? Julie. This is Chris. Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Oh, okay, considering. I just called to ask you the same thing. I'm all right. Okay, that was a lie. Actually, I'm kind of freaking out. I couldn't sleep. Nightmares. You too? Look, I didn't mean to bother you. I just wanted to talk to someone. I'm glad you called me. Me too. Back again? Yeah, how's she doing? Well, we'll know more when the anesthesia wears off. A uh, slight fever, but we've already started antibiotics. I'm a friend of the family. Do you mind if I... Five minutes, okay? Thanks. How you doing, gorgeous? Please come back to us, Mrs. Audrey. Could you do that for me? For all the people who love you, including Joe. You mean a lot to him. He tried to save your life, but he could use your help. All you have to do is wake up. All you have to do is live. Was he okay? No. Well, I mean, he, I guess he's not any worse. He just didn't wake up. But my pal Scott is a fighter. He's going to be okay. We gather that Lee met Karen when he said that Scott's daughter was with them. Oh, my gosh. That's right. You are his daughter. Yeah. <sighs> well, you know, I do see um, some sort of something like him behind your eyes, I think. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Uh, Matt called. He's on his way to Canada, up to Scott's place. Hopefully, he'll dig up something on Serena up there. That's great. Uh, listen, um, I know how difficult and weird and hard this is for you. I mean, for lots of different reasons. So, we will try and keep you posted if you could try and do the same for us. Sure. Thanks. Give my regards to your brother Frank. All right. I will just... We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> So listen, he's he's out of surgery. Things look good. Yeah, yeah except for Serena. The cops will handle her. Yeah, well, as far as Scott's concerned, he has friends who are looking out for him. So does this does this mean you're still gonna leave poor Charles? Dr. Wexley, your father's prognosis is good. Aside from splenic damage, he has no other internal injuries. We expect him to make a full recovery. Thank you. I also came to inform you that I will be accepting the post of chief resident. I look forward to working with you. This is my official first duty. Assignments will be posted later. Bye. What's behind door number one? <laughs> I don't know. What is it? I've been called to testify in the Board of Review. In the case of Joseph Parnell Scanlon. Man. Well, at least you weren't named. I thought maybe you would be. You you're you're suspended. Me. Why didn't you tell me? It must have slipped my mind. Oh, yeah? You know what? Hmm. A guy who performs brain surgery with a hand drill and duct tape. You sure have a good bedside manner. <laughs>